This is truly a great country in which we live. We have so many opportunities to make a difference for our families, for our communities, the states that we serve, and for the world in which we live. Only in the United States would it be possible for a first-generation immigrant like me to appear before you as an ambassador, ambassadorial nominee. My parents brought me to this country in search of a safe harbor, a harbor that provides freedom and opportunity, dignity and respect. The United States offered our family a second chance. What you need to know, what Americans need to know, is that while thankfully most of us answer the call to duty in far less dramatic ways, every Foreign Service officer runs the same risks, and very often so do our families. They serve too. As individuals, as a community, we answer the call to duty to advance and protect the interests of the United States. I count myself lucky to be a Foreign Service officer, fortunate to serve with the best America has to offer, blessed to serve the American people for the last 33 years. If you were not moved by the testimony of Marie Ivanovich today, you don't have a pulse. This is a woman who had served in seven posts for presidents of both parties over more than 30 years, uh, hardship posts, places like Somalia, like Tashkent. I really can't imagine a better example of diplomatic professionalism or integrity than what you've given all of us. From those who have served with you, those who aspire to be you, and for all those that you have served, you are excellence in the conduct of diplomacy. I would say that the best advice that I received is to be honest, maintain your integrity, tell the truth. That is difficult advice to follow under all circumstances, but very good advice. Take it from me, and I think many others in this room, there is nothing more gratifying than working for the American people, making the U.S. and the world more democratic, more prosperous, and more secure.